Hello everyone, I thank you for turning on the blue lights. Now today's topic this hour we are talking about a Jub Jub, the notorious We Are Jola 99 presenter is added again. This time the January salary on his phone did not do the clock clock. This is a reason why. Well, it was reported by Sunday World that Jube Jube hasn't been paid his salary of January by the channel Mojo Love because he allegedly assaulted his business partner, Kiabetu Mokwena. So he reportedly insulted Kiabetu Mokwena using her mother's private parts. So allegedly the incident took place at the Moses Kotani Art Festival, an event they both organized. Now, according to the Sunday World's report, the Mojo Love CEO, Obri Tau, is not happy with Jup Jup's reported behavior where he allegedly violated the channel's anti-gender-based violence policy. So, as a result, he did not get his January salary. It was further claimed that Tau is considering terminating the TV host contract, which is reportedly ending in March. Now, Jubju's position in the channel was in jeopardy after the rape allegations brought against him by Amanda Dupont. Now, we all remember that Mrs. Dupont allegedly reported that Mr. Jubju raped her for two years. Hi, Bo. Is it possible that you are in a relationship with somebody for two years and this person is raping you? Like, uh, no, I don't know. This is complicated. But Amanda Dupont did say that she was afraid to leave the relationship because Jup Jup was using Muti allegedly. Well, moving right along, Kelly Kumala, on the other hand, also once accused Malemo of abusing her while she was in a relationship with him. However, in spite of all the allegations thrown at Jub Jub, he managed to keep his job at Moja Love. Then the Kokel artist allegedly sent a lawyer's letter to Tau demanding his January salary be paid by the end of this coming Friday, otherwise they will face their legal action. In the lawyer's letter, Jub Jub's contract was signed on the 18th of March and asked for a year. The letter reads, It is our instructions that our client is contracted to you as the performer for the show called We Are Jula 99, effective 18 March 2022 in terms of a written agreement. The letter proceeds to say that they are shocked that Jup Jup did not receive his monthly salary for January 2023. His legal team says this didn't put him in financial jeopardy but was a breach of his contract and it is unconstitutional. Now, in a series of screenshots published by the citizens, Ikiabeto accused Jup Jup of threatening and insulting her in a WhatsApp group where he allegedly referred to her as a loose and a biatch. Ikiabeto continues to say, I am scared for my life because I do not know what he is planning to do to me when this thing is over, she said. That we are Jola Nanan host took to social media to de deny these accusations made against him. He said he has to remove himself from the preparations of the Moses Katan Art Festival when he learned that his business partners were not being honest with him. I don't understand how him insulting Kiabeti has to do with his salary. I mean, like, they just have to pay him for the job he did for the month. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's a Jupu Adifeli. Thank you for listening.